America. How was everybody doing today? Hey, I thought of a new pickup line. When you go out to a bar and you're flirting around with them women, say, hey, baby, who would you rather have sex with? Me or Donald Trump? <clears throat> it's a it's a no brainer. No brainer. <laughs> you might get lucky. Also, I just wanted to talk about something. I, I've been on Twitter, uh, I think almost a year now. And I, I was on Twitter before that, but I never really, I couldn't even remember my handle when I went to sign in. And so I just created another account. I found it though, but anyways, uh, <clears throat> I've been on Twitter for about a year now. Uh, and the only reason I've actually got on Twitter was because of this whole Donald Trump thing. Because I wanted to see what the man was tweeting. Because you hear about it in the news and... You might read about it or something like that, and but you'd really rather just witness it firsthand. And uh, that was the reason why I even created an account on Twitter. But anyways, after a year's worth of uh, absorbing and observing and just basically uh, feeling my way through Twitter, I'm <sighs> just... This whole thing recently with him removing cl uh, security clearances of uh, good men and, uh, I, you know, General McRaven coming out and uh, saying what he said, which was <clears throat> made me feel like jumping up and down for joy as an American, because um, that was one hell of a general right there. Uh, but for him to come out and say that, that was, that was a big deal to me. Uh, I've just decided to create a hashtag, which has been around for a while, but I just decided to create a hash or use a hashtag, traitor. And I hate to do it, but there are so many Americans out there that I just don't understand how they can absorb everything Donald Trump's done, says, his threats. It's just the, the total idiocracy, I guess you could say, if that's a word. <laughs> everything Donald Trump's done and still support him. I don't understand how a man, an American male, uh, with any true moral compass, could actually continue to support Donald Trump. And I've heard all kinds of arguments. I have some very conservative friends, and they, they still, they think it's the media. They think it's this, they think it's that, you know, the special uh, groups that, you know, don't even exist, and all these other things. And here I am, wow, that was a piece of glass or something that just hit my windshield. But um, I was just decided to use the hashtag traitor on every last bit of it. And uh, whenever I see someone supporting him, I put the hashtag traitor up. Uh, if someone, uh, propagandists, uh, Fox News, Sean Hannity, Mark Levin, any of these uh, propagandists uh, say anything about Donald Trump, I just basically come right out and call him a traitor. Because I just, I can't understand how any American, red-blooded American, could continue to support the man. I don't understand how anybody could sit there and uh, listen to what he says, uh, listen to what the news says. And it's irrelevant, really, to me what the news says. I really don't pay attention to the news. I've just been paying attention to Donald Trump and the things that come out of his worthless mouth. And uh, every time I see anybody supporting anything he says, anytime I see anybody... Uh, coming to his aid, I use the hashtag traitor. I just put it right out there. And there was a U.S. Mar uh, U.S. Uh, Army Ranger today, uh, just you know, going off about liberals and blah blah blah. You're destroying America, and he's supporting Donald Trump. And I'm sitting here going, <laughs> no way, bro, no. And uh, I put that hashtag on him on his uh, little feed there. And of course, that caused a controversy. How do I call a U.S. Ranger a, ha a traitor? Well, I'm sorry if you can't take what he has said and you can't take his actions and you can't arrive at the same normal human conclusion that the man is just a fucking piece of shit I'm gonna give you the goddamn hashtag traitor I don't give a shit who you are I'm sorry if, if you served in our armed forces thank you for your service but I'm sorry you don't have the intelligence enough to look and see what the son of a bitch has been saying and doing since he got into office and to attack any of our rights, the first right, I mean, any of our amendments, anything, to attack any American who spoke out against him. 
and you're going to continue to support him. Hashtag traitor. Sorry, you're getting it. You don't like it? Too bad. I don't know what to tell you. I tried to give Donald Trump the benefit of the doubt. In the beginning of his presidency, I sat back and said, I'm just going to give him a chance. And I'm doing the same thing that the CIA director, who just got his clearance removed, I'm doing this, I did the same thing he did. I sat back and said, I'm just going to give him a chance. Maybe he's not this bad of a man. Maybe it's, it's going on how long now? And much like him, but a, long, a lot longer ago, I, I reached the conclusion that Donald Trump just, just ain't fucking worth it. He's just not worth it. That's all there is to it. And anybody that thinks otherwise and wants to continue to support him is just going to have to deal with getting labeled a traitor because that's what the fuck you are. A fucking traitor. And, uh, you know, I've upset some people. And, you know what? I understand that, you know, there's people out there that just can't see the light of day. And uh, and they think that we're in the wrong uh, because we're not supporting him. And I've actually had people, I mean, come across as if I'm attacking some kind of demigod. I mean, like, I'm attacking Jesus Christ himself when I say I don't support him. So to you people, I'm sorry. Welcome to my world. I'm not going to tolerate it. I'm not going to put up with it. Um, this American's had enough of his bullshit, and uh, if you want to support him, I'm just going to put you all in a big lump sum and call you a fucking traitor, because that's what the fuck you are. And I'm sorry. I'm, and it's, I don't. I'm not sorry. I'm saying that because I, hypothetically, I could understand how someone could could support him in the beginning of his presidency, maybe after the first year, but now at this point in time, after everything that has come out of his shithole for a mouth. I have no more tolerance and I have no desire whatsoever to tolerate anybody who thinks that Donald Trump is a good man and deserves support from any American. So anyways, enough with what I had to say. I'm done here. Use the hashtag traitor. Apply it to anything, Donald Trump. Apply it to anyone who supports him. Apply it to anything and everything that Donald Trump is do yourself a favor. Don't be afraid of using it. I'm not afraid. Fuck Donald Trump. You want to support him? You want to support tyranny? You want to support a fucking goddamn imbecile? A retard? I'm sorry. I hate to use that word. Excuse my French. It's a very derogatory word and I should not be using it, but I'm using it. I'm sorry. I'm no longer going to sit here and, and apologize for you. The average American who thinks he's doing good for this country. Right now, we are so divided, it's, it's idiotic to support him. You need to support America. You need to support your fellow Americans. You need to support this country. Not a fucking giant walking douchebag. Do yourself a favor. Use the hashtag traitor. Apply it to everything Donald Trump. God bless America. Ooh-ah.